Buffalo supermarket massacre, the alleged gunman will be facing a judge for a felony hearing. This comes as elected leaders, both on the national and state level, are working to prevent another shooting like this from happening again. CBS 2's John Diaz joins us now live from the newsroom with more on this story and the very latest from Governor Hochul. John. Well, Chris and Natalie, on the federal level, late last night, the House passed legislation that grows national resources to prevent domestic terrorism. Supporters of the bill say it will fill the gaps in intelligence sharing uh, to better track and respond to growing threats. This morning from the country's capital to New York, selected leaders are fighting back against domestic terrorism. The most serious threat we face as a nation is from within. It's not from the Russians. It's not from people elsewhere. It's white supremacism. It's white nationalism. In the wake of the Buffalo massacre, Governor Kathy Hochul signed two executive orders working to enhance state gun laws and close loopholes by revising and widening the definition of a firearm to get dangerous guns off the street and trying to make ammunition traceable. The message to New Yorkers is we're going to continue to protect you. She is also directing state police to more aggressively seize guns from potential shooters under the state's red flag law and is working to increase social media monitoring by law enforcement. New York State Attorney General Tish James says she's launching an investigation into the social media companies used by the suspected gunman in the Buffalo shooting. She tweeted that they include Twitch, 4chan, 8chan, and Discord. Messages by the suspect on Discord date back five months. But retired FBI agent Catherine Schweit says it's extremely difficult to find hateful posts online. Not only are there legal prohibitions, there's the practicality of saying, how do we collect that? In a March post, the alleged gunman identified the top supermarket as Attack Area 1, where he planned to shoot all blacks. Later that month, posts show he scoped it out in person and uploaded hand-drawn maps of the grocery store. Unless the American people get their head out of the sand and find a way to be aware of their children, their neighbors, and their coworkers, we're never going to solve this problem. Discourse says this suspect was posting to a private invite only channel. A small group was ultimately invited to it just a half an hour before the shooting began. The company says it has an internal team that works to identify and remove extremist content like hate speech and threats of violence, but the platform has around 100. 150 million monthly users. And happening later today, Reverend Al Sharpton will be in Buffalo addressing the shooting, and he will also give the eulogy at the first funeral tomorrow. Sharpton's organization will be paying for the funeral costs for all 10 victims. Chris and Natalie. Okay, John, thank you.